Ayan. So, good morning. Good afternoon na para. Good afternoon. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. So, I'd like to welcome you back in my YouTube channel, Teacher Dex Channel TV. At of course, sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-subscribe ng ating YouTube channel, please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. And uh, of course, do not forget to like and share my videos. Sa lahat po dyan, maraming maraming salamat. Today is uh, June 21, 2021. 6.21 po yan. So, ayan. So, this time I'd like to share with you Okay, share ko lang po sa inyo how we're going to identify the subatomic particles. Now, when we say subatomic particles, there are three subatomic particles. So, when we say subatomic particles, I'll be use, using my, my magic whiteboard. Okay, so subatomic particles. So, ayan po. First, we have here, we have proton, electron, and Neutron. So when we say proton, it is positively charged particles. Electron is negatively charged particles, and neutron is no charged particles. But the question is, how are we going to identify? How are we going to identify the uh, subatomic particles in each element? So always remember, elements. These are a simplest substance. No, when we say elements, it is made up of atoms. So when we say atoms, it can no longer be divided into simplest form. So how are we going to identify? No, in each element, let's say, for example, we have uh, oxygen. Oxygen, we have eight atomic number, and we have 16 as the atomic mass. Always remember atomic number. Atomic number represents the number of proton and number of electron. So therefore, ang oxygen, oxygen, the number of proton is 8, number of electron is also 8. Okay? So this is very simple in how you're going to identify. An atomic number represents the number of proton and electron. So if oxygen has 8 atomic number, therefore the proton and electron of oxygen is 8. Now, how are we going to identify naman? The number of uh, the number of neutron. So we have here the atomic mass. Okay, what will be our formula? So atomic mass, atomic mass. Okay, minus the atomic number. Okay, atomic number, or it could be at minus the number of proton or the number of electron. So yun po. So let's for example. So, 16 minus 8. So, therefore, the number of neutron is equal to 8 also. Okay? If you want to know the, if you want to know the, the atomic mass, you have to add this. 8 plus 8, 16. Or proton plus the neutron is 16. Or the atomic number plus the neutron is still 16. Okay? Ito po, it's very simple on how we're going to identify the subatomic particles of an element. So we will say another example. So let's say, for example, we have sodium. Sodium, it has 11 atomic number and 23 atomic mass. So therefore, we have proton. Proton is 11. Electron is 11. Neutron is equal to uh, 11 minus, uh, this is 23 minus 11, so we have 12. That's a very simple on how you're going to identify. Okay, so let's say for example, okay, this one. Uh, what do you call this? Iron, no? Iron. So we have here. The table, we have atomic number, proton, electron, neutron, then atomic mass. Okay? 
So how are you going to identify now? So let's say, for example, we have here atomic number is 26. And here, neutron is 30. How are we going to identify? How are we going to complete this? So let's say, for example, proton is 26. Electron is 26. So add the two so you can get the atomic mass, which is 56. So ayun po. It's very simple on how we're going to identify. No, These are the three subatomic particles. Ulitin ko, proton, electron, and neutron. This is positively charged particles. This is negatively charged particles. And neutron has no charged particles. So ito po yung tatlo. Which are we going to uh, solve? No, mas madali po ito. How are we going to solve the subatomic particles of the elements? Okay, so very basic. So another example. So we have. Uh, let me erase the writings on the first example. Okay. So another is we have here chlorine. Chlorine has atomic mass of 17 and we have 35 as its atomic mass. So what they're going to do, we have proton is 17. Electron is 17 and neutron is 18. If you add this, you will get this. Okay? So let's have another example. We have potassium. Potassium is we have 19. 19 and this is uh, 39. Okay? Okay? So, let's say, for example, oh, let's say, for example, gawin natin. This is the atomic number, proton, electron, neutron, and we have the mass. Okay. So, let's say, for example, this is 19. And we have here, we have 20. Okay. We have 20. Or kung gusto mo, sige, ito. This is 39. Okay? Atomic number is 19. Atomic uh, number of electron is 19. So 39 minus 19, that is 20. Very basic po yan. Basic na basic po yan. So ayun po. In addition to that, no, always remember sa elements... Elements po, the smallest particle of the elements is atom. Atom. That is the smallest particle of the elements. So this atom can no longer be divided into smallest particles because it is, it is the smallest particles already. So we can no longer divide atom into smaller particles. Now, if we are going to combine atom, Atom plus another atom, it will give us molecule. Always remember, element plus element is, is compound. When we say compound, it is a combination of two or more elements. So, atom plus atom is a molecule. So, let's say, for example, no, uh, let us try to see. Okay. Uh, we have potassium plus chlorine. No, this is atom, potassium atom, potassium uh, chlorine atom gives us potassium chlor chloride. But that is no longer atom. It is already molecule. Meaning, the smallest particle of a mole of a compound is a molecule. But it all depends, no? It all depends if uh, we're talking about uh, there are two types or there are three types of a chemical bonding. 
we have the uh, what do you call this? Uh, ionic band, we have covalent band, and we have metallic band. So that's all for this afternoon. No, uh, it's a very simple introduction of our uh, lesson. It's how we're going to identify our our subatomic particles of the elements. It is the subatomic particles of the elements. There are three, as what I've told you. These are the proton, electron, and neutron. If we're going to identify you know, the atomic number, okay, the atomic number of each element is uh, represents the number of proton and electron. But if you're going to solve the number of neutron, you have to subtract the atomic mass to the atomic number or the number of proton and electron to get the number of neutron. So it's a very simple, okay? It's a very easy to solve. But the most important thing is you must, you must identify the elements. You must, uh, what do you call this? You must know the elements. You must also identify the atomic number and the atomic masses of each element. As we all know, in the modern periodic table, there are 118 known elements. There are 118 known elements. And I know that you are going to get acquainted with it as we go on with our uh, discussion. So that's only for today. No, I repeat, for those who are new in my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe, comment down, and share this video. Okay, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Teacher Dex Channel TV, and do not forget to press the notification bell if you want to receive the latest updates of my vlogs. That would be all. Thank you very much, and God bless everyone. Malamig po, maulan. So, payo lang. Huwag pong kakalimutang magdala po ng pananga sa ulan para maiwasan ang sakit magkasakit. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you and God bless everyone.